sometimes you're just having a good day and that's all there is to it so those of you who've been to the races you know, they're very meticulous in putting together this selection sheet because i play so many tracks seven today that i list my selections by post time so i went up to the windows and i rattled off my bets for the next five races i knew that they'd be close in post time and sure enough as i was standing in the simulcast area one at Woodbine, they were approaching the gate. At Churchill Downs, they were in the gate. At Monmouth, they were in the gate. At Belmont, they were approaching the gate. And at Arlington, which there wasn't a big screen, I had it open on my phone. So, at Belmont in the eighth race, it was their feature, the Paradise Creek. I like number eight, big, handsome, many things to like. First, moving to the inner course to back, just look sharp. Today, Javier Castellano was on board crowd wasn't fooled, sent him off at three to five. I was a little concerned midway on the turn, wide off the pace, and here he came. For the turn, then a three wide Harlan's Harmony, followed by Small Bear, and have another on the inside. Derek Smile in front, Mongo Nation is a length behind, running in second, midway on the far turn. These two continue to set the pace ahead of Kitten's Cat and the favorite Big Handsome, who are third and fourth and side by side after a 46.26 half mile. Derek Smile will turn for home with Mongo Nation alongside and Big Handsome looming up outside the top two and coming three wide. Kitten's Cat is right behind the leaders, has to swing out and fourth or into the stretch. Big Handsome, Big Handsome takes the lead, goes by Mongo Nation and angles to the inside. And then it's Kitten's Cat who has moved up into second, but it is Big Handsome and he's got a five length lead. Then Kitten's Cat, Mongo Nation followed by Small Bear and on the outside Harlan's Harmony. Big Handsome looking good in the Paradise Creek. Triple the bet on another winner. This one at Belmont in there feature the Paradise Creek with Big Handsome. Just after Big Handsome had crossed the finish line, we were at Churchill Downs for their feature, the grade three winning colors. It looked to me like Finley's Lucky Charm, who had never been in a graded stakes, uh, except for two back shoes in the grade one La Brea at Santa Anita and almost went wire to wire. Today in a grade three, she just looked much the best and she was the lone speed right to the Six front. Four, and Sweetgrass the last of them all. Meanwhile, Finley's lucky charm steps on it and builds a three length lead around the fire turn and got away with a pretty honest opening quarter mile in 22 seconds flat. Well within the scope of her speed, she hits the quarter pole now clear by five. Finley's lucky charm has left Athena behind in second Game time decision under pressure. Covey Trace is there. Mela on the far outside. Racing for mid stretch. Finley's Lucky Charm. The lead's down to four as Athena tries to spy the gap. Mela's closing in two. Farther out than that, it's Sweetgrass, but they're into the final 16th. Finley's Lucky Charm opens back up, and most impressive was she. Broke on top and never looked back. Wins the winning colors by five. 30. 30 to win on Finley's Lucky Charm. That's nice. As Finley's Lucky Charm was winning, I was watching on my phone. It was supposed to be on the turf at Arlington, I thought. I had the number seven horse, who I thought was Parlor, who went right to the front and went wire to wire at a nice two to one. And all of a sudden I noticed, wait a minute, this is race six? Who is this horse? This horse is called She's a Hot Mama. And I'm like, what? I didn't even handicap this race. But hey, I got the winner anyway. And that's win number 13 today, baby. The grade one, Gamely, was a national feature. We were going a mile and a sixteenth on the turf at Santa Anita. I thought it interesting that Lady Eli, who's based in New York, shipped out west with all the graded stakes there are in New York. She went all the way to Santa Anita. Chad Brown must think that she's really ready to roll. She's a good second in the Breeders' Cup Philly Mare turf here. So 
No, she likes the course. Suppress pace to the top Turn of the stretch. seven lengths clear of Mocat, who in turn is three ahead of Pretty Girl. They have three eighths to run in the game, Lee, and it's Avenge being pressed now by Lady Eli, who moves within a head. A length and a half to Goodyear for Roses. She comes away from the rail. Four lengths to Mocat closing in. Still Pretty Girl last. At the top of the stretch, Lady Eli and Avenger stride for stride, chased by Goodyear for Roses, clear of Mocat. Lady Eli takes the lead from Avenge, coming past the eighth pole. Goodyear for Roses. Roses is running one heck of a race, but Lady Eli is the leader with a 16th to go. She's three quarters in the front, fighting on tenaciously. Lady Eli, courage exemplified in a racehorse. Le the horse is out Prime time, baby. Made. Lady it's Eli, my 14th now. win. Woo! The 10th at Gulfstream was co-featured Christmas Past. I like number two, Susie B. So they hit the far turn, the leader was some almost a dozen lengths in front, but then the field came to her and up the rail. Here came Susie B. Back at the inside, inside out, trying to run on from the back. Bonita, Susie B, and Bitacora. Around the far turn they go. Cats of Divas lead has shrunk to three. Here they come after the leader, King's Ghost, and something else. Second and third, Artemisa next, then inside out. Susie B saves ground and comes on next. They're at the top of the stretch. Something else set down for the drive, but at the rail, here's Susie B trying to squeeze through. Down the outside and inside out. Late run from Bonita. Wild scramble. It's inside out and Susie B. Susie B. Right Susie B. B. Right B. Right B. Right B. Right B. Doubled the bat, my 15th win today. Man, what a good day. The 10th at Belmont is a maiden special weight going a mile on the turf. All of them, all of them except for number two, Ellen Z. Either have no form, never been on turf, have bad form, just nothing going for them. But Ellen Z has run not one, but three turf efforts any of which would require a career best effort by arrival. So I will double the bet on number two, Ellen Z in the finale at Belmont as I shoot for my 16th win. What a day. Hey, on the outside, Ides of Arches sixth in between horses. And then comes Hobo Denza Cadoro to the outside. Conquest Falcon wide and duly down toward the inside. LNZ turning for home in front. Been there all the way so far. LNZ the leader as some geese get out of the way there in mid stretch. On the outside comes Bartleby who runs at LNZ. Between those two is Psychic Energy who's back running in third. Then Bats clean up and dab on the outside. Denza Cadoro coming down to the line. And LNZ and Javier Castellano are going to go all the way. And here's Hobo up the rail to get second. Bartleby was it's been a great day out here. I may not have made a lot of money, but wow, 15 wins. It's been quite a while since I've been out here and had one of these days, and I really enjoyed it. It's so hot. I'll wear shorts the next time. But good handicapping today, and people have asked, you know, if you had your choice, win lots of money at low percentage or win lots of races, what would you like? I'll take a day like today with a lot of races. Really a good day.